FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 28th of February, last day of the month. We're going to wrap it up. Here's the scandal for the month of um, of March. I mean, February, about to start March tomorrow. And it's not a great candle yet in the Dow. All right, so the Dow is down 137 to 32,767. We've got a technique that I call Chapman Wave Roman candle. That was just two, two uh, three sessions ago. Mm -hmm. And that implies that if there's a move for about an hour today that goes, that trades, it can't just go there, it's got to trade under 32,760, there's a real good chance we're going to test yesterday's low. Uh, any rally needs to start just exactly now to, to get away from that. Looking at the S&P, SPX right now is trading uh, up two points at 39.84, holding okay. It's under the 200 period moving average. The nine is under the 14th. So all the technicals are negative. Looking at the QQQ, there we go. Uh, down, it's up 72 cents at 294.67. Also under the 14 period moving average. But all of them have got quite a bit of work to do to get above and trade above those 200 period moving averages in each daily chart. Looking at the IWM, this is the Russell 2000. <clears throat> trading up $1.22 at 189.35. Again, holding a little bit better. That weekly chart is actually starting to improve quite a bit. I'm watching to see if uh, the iShares, the Russell 2000 small caps, are actually going to stage some kind of a rally, another rally uh, in this uh, March period. We'll see what happens. Gold, uh, gold is up uh, four at. Oops, where did it go? Up four at 18.29. Uh, this is going to be important because it's testing the 200 period moving average. It did make a low today of 1810. So it's a good 18 points off that. But if you put it together with the dollar, the dollar is only at a leg C, maybe a peak C if there's no new high today, recovery high. Sitting on the 200 period moving average, still showing some strength. So I think that the, the dollar still has the lead in terms of those two, in terms of the counterpoint that we're looking at. And if you're looking at the TLT, which is bonds, uh, bonds are down sharply, so yields are running again. Bonds are down 74 at 100.52. My thinking here is we've got a couple of days to go to see if we're going to test, retest the 99s. It was back in uh, December. And the crude oil, let's just quickly look at crude oil. Crude oil is up $1.27 at 76.95 in a range. I'll be back in a moment. We've got a lot to discuss. End of the month. Uh, Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour coming up.